to access the water drop tools in civil site design you can simply left click on a civil site design surface you can hover over the grid that appears and a menu of tools will be displayed if you check water drop you're automatically provided with a live representation of a water drop wherever your mouse resides over the top of that particular surface as you can see here as I move my mouse around that is being updated if at any point you want to set a water drop at a particular location you can simply left click and that will be drawn on screen now to actually see where these polylines are being set we can go up to the roads tab surface manager pull down and click on water drop in this form we have the option of choosing any surface so if you are using Civil 3D, we can actually run the water drop on top of a Civil 3D surface as well, which we'll do in a second. We can choose the layer on which the polyline is drawn, choose whether or not the polyline is 2D or 3D, and then choose to show what's known as the jig. So this is the live representation of the water drop. If you have a particularly large surface, showing the jig may not be appropriate, so you may want to turn it off. Let's have a look at applying this on this Civil 3D surface of this car park. So I'm going to go add water drops and simply just pan down to the car park. And as you can see, as I hover my mouse over this car park, we've got a dish um, being represented in our design here. As you can see, as I'm moving my mouse around, the water is heading towards that dish to a low point down the bottom left-hand corner. You can keep your water drops on screen, but if you, at any point you want them to be updated, you can click on the pull down here and click on update water drops to update all water drops within the project. In Model Viewer, all we need to do is to right click at a particular location and click on Add Water Drop. The position where we right clicked is where the water drop will start and as you can see the water drop actually terminates down here and we've got a little marker to display how that works. If at any point you want to remove these water drops, um, you can do so by clicking on Refresh Model.